Hi, this is Frank Schaefer. I am a writer and commentator. The Nobel Peace Prize is about to be awarded to two women who have fought for women's rights. One, an Yazidi who was repeatedly raped by members of ISIS and who notes that so far not one member of ISIS has been prosecuted for these crimes. Listening to the BBC World Service this morning, I was listening to a news item from India talking about a new problem in India, and that is the, the filming through cell phones, the way I'm doing here with you, of gang rape, and that these are being widely shared in India as entertainment, to the point where many women who have been raped don't dare show their faces. Everyone has now seen the rape occur, and that people doing this are not being prosecuted very often, if at all. You know, we have a thug in the White House who bragged about criminally and sexually molesting women. And one of his friends in the past that he had spent hundreds of hours with in flying around in this guy's plane, Jeffrey Epstein, is accused of molesting 80 or more underage girls. He was let off with more or less probation because fancy lawyers uh, got him off proving again that the rich have one law in this country and everybody else another. And that case has been revived by an amazing investigative reporting piece by the Miami Herald. And it just seems to me that at this point of the Me Too movement and feminism and growing social awareness here in this country, at least, about women's rights, that when we see countries like Saudi Arabia, for instance, in which women are imprisoned and tortured, who have been activists, just trying to get the right for women to drive, when we see that in India we have people as a kind of a hobby going around committing gang rapes and filming them with their cell phones and sharing this widely in social media as a kind of a new porn that is wildly popular with men in India, when you see that we have a Nobel Peace Prize being given to women who have stood up to, for women's rights and not peripheral rights about work-life balance or something like this, as important as that would be, but the right not to be gang raped by the criminals in extremist Islamic movements like ISIS. When you see that we're in bed with the Saudis covering for a murder that was committed by their prince uh, at his orders of one of our journalists and in a major American newspaper, a resident here in the United States, and the president is siding with them. When you see that the same president is now siding with the Saudi Arabians and the Russians of all people to stop action in the United Nations report on climate change, you realize that there are really two worlds emerging. There was the world about social consciousness and women's rights and taking care of our climate and responsibility for our neighbor. And then there are these thugs like Putin and Trump and the Saudis who are ganging up on the rest of us to defend themselves against having, for instance, to go after people who commit horrible crimes against women, horrible crimes against our environment. You may say these are two different issues. No, they're not. They are linked. We as, we as primates evolved empathy. We evolved the ability to love our neighbor. We evolve the ability to care for our planet. And we are being asked by these thug regimes and these thug uh, streams of consciousness in our society, be that people in India who rape women for fun and then tape this and share it on social media, be that Putin and the Saudi Arabian royal family and Trump ganging up to take the side of our polluting oil industry that in fact is raping our planet, literally, and destroying us. We're in a fight for our lives. The fight here at home comes down to making sure that in 2020, Trump is not defeated but utterly destroyed in a message to the world that this lying fool who says that the, the riots in France recently were about people rejecting action on climate change and that they were calling out uh, that they wanted Trump whether it's the Saudi Arabians and Trump and Putin getting together to defend bigger and bigger carbon footprints so that their oil industry and their friends and their cronies in business can survive, whether it's us turning a blind eye to women being raped in India while videos are shared or turning a blind eye to Jeffrey Epstein here in this country who should be locked up for life 
And in my personal opinion, so should the fancy lawyers who lied their way into intimidating girls who at the time were 14 years old who were being molested by this monster. And these lawyers got together to try to paint the victims as somehow prostitutes. How can you be a prostitute at age 14 when the legal age of consent is 18 and anything before that is rape of a child? These are scum. And it is time for people who have principles, whoever you vote for, whatever your political party, to stand up and say, are we on the side of our planet? Are we on the side of the women and the men who live here? Or are we going to go along with these oligarchical, greedy scum as they lead us down this path, be they the fancy lawyers that kept people like Jeffrey Epstein off by besmirching the reputations of the women who brought accusations, the young women, the children, or whether it is Putin and the Saudi royal family and this lying fool we have for a president ganging up on the rest of us saying, we don't care about climate change. Stand up, people. Stand up for what's right. My name is Frank Schaefer.